We're in the month of February now. Part one. White clouds. Pegasus moon. Throne of knowledge. The northern lands are enveloped in a bitter cold, and frigid winds are carried across the sea to the south of Adrestia. When feather white snow falls on Fodlin's locket, the fort looks as delicate as a pearl. However, beneath that snowy blanket, her throat is more treacherous than ever. The month of February, so we're getting close to spring. As a matter of fact, I think we're almost a full year. We just need the month of March. Yeah, and I feel like once the year, like the full year comes around is over, then that must mean that's when the time skip happens. But for now, we have to figure out what to do next. Rhea, please talk to me. What are you hiding? What is the meaning of how that one looks? It is almost as though... As I said, there is nothing of which to speak. For now. At the end of this month... I read Gerald's diary. I happened upon it in his room. What? In it, he stated the reason for his departure. The baby, thought to have died in the fire, has returned to us. Gerald realized that you had done something to the child and decided to flee. What did you do to that baby, Rhea? Nothing questionable, I should hope. Said it enough. They will be here shortly. No more, I beg of you. I will take our dear professor to the holy tomb. There, I should be able to see our dearest wishes to fruition. When I was young, I heard her voice there. I'm sure of it. You may enter. I have been awaiting your arrival, Professor. Now that you have received sacred power from the Goddess, there is somewhere you must pay a visit to at once. You must go to the Holy Tomb so that you may receive a divine revelation from the Goddess. The Holy Tomb? The Holy Tomb is where the Goddess sleeps. This monastery was originally built for the purpose of protecting that hallowed temple. Only a select few know of it, but there is a legend about Seros and the Holy Tomb. Saint Seros, the first soul to be gifted power from the Goddess, received her revelation there. She was told that it was her sacred duty to save the people of Fodlin, and that she must use her power wisely in order to lead them. The words that were handed down to Seros from the Goddess will likely fall upon your ears as well. Prepare yourself to go at once. There may you find out why you were blessed with such power. There will be a ceremony at the Holy Tomb. It is then that you will receive the Goddess's revelation. You may share this mission with your students. Do you think it's wise to bring them into this? Uh... It is said that when Seros received the revelation, she had holy warriors by her side protecting her. Your students, who have followed you and fought alongside you through the darkest of times, are well suited to stand by you for the ceremony. That is true. Of course, as the leader of the Church of Seros, I will be by your side as well. Strange. The occasion is too significant to be missed. Even if something were to happen, I am more than capable of protecting myself. Much has changed, but your duty has not wavered. Steal your mind for the ceremony and prepare your students well. Okay. All of my black eagles are holy warriors. It's gotta be an amazing thing. Hilda's birthday, I'll give her flowers.
Uh, it's also Hanneman's birthday. Um, I mean, since I know about him, I haven't hosted a tea party with him yet. Uh, what does he like? Um... <laughs> Enjoyment requires a mature palate. All right. My room works better for me, but I am willing to compromise for today. Thank you. Offer some tea. He <laughs> really likes the sweets too. Have a nice cup of tea. Oh, oh. Delightfully... I'm probably having the feeling that uh, he, whenever they do that animation, that probably means they don't like it. Indeed. Uh. Monastery Mysteries? Well, yep. Since he knows all about crests and scientific research. What? Uh, evaluating allies? Yes, yes. Yep. What? And last but not least, of course, the existence of crests. Indeed. Beautiful. Since I have never found out the secret of your birth, I am exceptionally intrigued. Uh, chat? Hey, we got it. We got a perfect tea time with Hanneman. <laughs> Would you like a gift? What do you even like on here? Do you like board games? Oh, thank you. Eh, kind of. At least he's sitting elegantly. That is an awkward camera angle. Something wrong with my monocle? It is a custom-made piece, yet still problematic sometimes. <laughs> it sometimes likes to fall out of my face. seem to have a mark of the exceptional about you. Well then. Well then. <laughs> well then. All right. That was good enough. Thank you for a wonderful time, Professor. Violet and Hanneman enjoyed their time together. So much charm is being increased by Byleth here. I wonder how much charm she has. By fusing with Sothis and awakening the progenitor god's power, Byleth obtained the certification for the Enlightened One class. Jesus. What a strange feeling. What a strange feeling. I did not want to change it though, what? I did not want to change into uh, the Enlightened One, though. Is that under Beginner Class? A Holy One blessed by the Goddess herself, this wielder of magic has high overall stats. Oh! It does grant bonus. Oh! I should have thought about that, actually. Yeah, I actually should have thought about that, giving them stat bonuses. There is some support conversations here that I can do. It looks like there's one with Ferdinand and Manuela. Oh no. <laughs> Ferdinand, I hope you're ready. My princess is lovely. My princess is fair. She sings like cicadas in midsummer's air. Cicadas? Those noisy little bugs that swarm about, endlessly mingling with one another? Oh, uh, good point. I will revise. My princess is lovely. My princess is fair. She sings like a swallow in midsummer's air. <laughs> Migrating birds. Never sticking around for long. 
Always off to find love somewhere else. Uh, no, what, what I meant was... Uh... <laughs> oh, Ferdinand, you're just not yourself today. You don't seem focused. Your poetry lacks poetry. Perhaps a break is in order. I would not dream of stopping now. This is my golden opportunity. Ferdinand, you need that break. We are finally alone. Just the two of us. Why, yes, we are, aren't we? You see, Manuela, I have long admired you. Is that a fact? I saw you perform countless times while you were with the opera company. Oh, I see. So what did you think? The figure you cut, that heartbreaking voice. I was mesmerized. That is why I am tongue-tied. I am nervous about speaking to you alone, after idolizing you for so long. There's no need to be nervous, Ferdinand. That songstress you recall is long gone. I get nervous too, you know. But I want you to feel relaxed around me. Understood? Yes, uh, <clears throat> uh yes, I promise <coughs> to try. You're really full of surprises, you know that? I assumed you'd be more interested in combat than the arts. Come and chat sometime? I'd love to hear more about how my performances mesmerized you. Woo-wee! Never mind, he is in. No need for that break. Woo-woo-woo! Ferdinand is in! You can forget about Dorothea. I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my god. Woo. I can't hear Sothis's voice anymore. No. She's not even like outside of our minds anymore. She's actually with us. She is actually us. Oh man. Edelgard and Hubert have been busier than usual. Constantly coming and going, in and out of Garrick Mach. Perhaps they are doing something in the Empire. As the legitimate heir of the Iyer family, I have not heard anything about it. But if it were significant, I am sure my father would have told me. So it might be having something to do with Edelgard. I'll probably have to know a bit more information. But it, it actually seems like if I check in the map, I don't think Edelgard's here. Or is she? It does look like that Catherine and Gilbert are back, and also Shamir. The History of Srang. A book recording the history of the Srang people. It probably belongs to someone who has ties to Srang. <laughs> Amanda's texting me right now. The the Cuphead videos from the Delicious Last Course is going on right now. And uh, I think it's... Uh, I think there's two left already. I think Three Houses is actually going to start in a few days. Silk Handkerchief. A fine white silk handkerchief. Probably belongs to a noble who cares about their personal grooming. New bottle of perfume. Oh no, not another perfume. An unopened bottle containing fancy perfume. It probably belongs to someone who doesn't often wear perfume. Please don't let it be Hilda. How are you, Professor? Did Hanuman make his I will do no harm speech or promise this won't hurt a bit when he asked to study you? Both? I've a bit of research I'd like to perform. Nothing so crass as Hanuman's poking, prodding, and drawing of blood. No, I wish to investigate crest power itself. Crest power must have some kind of limit, right? Lady Rhea says any limits must be the protection of the goddess, but that doesn't quite answer it for me. Hmm. Actually, yeah, that actually brings that up. Like, did my crest actually change? Did my crest actually change? Uh, it doesn't actually show you. Oh, yeah, it does. 
The crest of the goddess who governs the world occasionally recovers HP equal to 30% of damage dealt. Rarely, uh, rarely raises might and stops counter. Stops it? I could have been having Byleth face the Death Knight this whole time, and she would have blocked counterattacks? Oh, you're fucking with me. Hedgehog case? <laughs> An accessory case embroidered with a cute hedgehog probably belongs to a female noble. Someone to be keeping Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, bless me. <laughs> still the same Bernie. She still shuts her doors. So hungry. Oh, is that you, Professor? Sorry. I'm really not feeling well this month. Even leaving my room for dinner is just too much. It's got nothing to do with your, um, changes. So, um... <laughs> no, I feel like she got sick of me when I transformed. Maybe she doesn't like the color green. In Bridget, we have legends. Stories containing people who have a spirit living inside of them. Those spirit people have much strength. They are maybe able to fly in the air or race across the ocean. <laughs> fly in the air. Eyes that glow. They have qualities that are not unlike what you are looking like, Professor. I feel like that's so. Uh, hair that shines and eyes that glow. They have quali uh, qualities that are not unlike what you are looking like. Uh, perhaps. I do not have doubt, Professor. The powers you have are like the powers of the legends. Also, can I fly? I feel like when I saw that trailer in Smash Brothers, like. She did fly when coming out of that portal. So, maybe I can fly. Hmm. <laughs> You'll sure have something to report for this month. Greetings, Professor. Nothing to report. Are you sure about that? Although, I suppose you are something to report. For a moment, I thought you were someone suspicious. Lucky for you, I am quite perceptive. It took only that single moment for me to recognize you. <laughs> The professor went out and got some new power. Yes, I got some godlike powers. Godlike powers that none could ever imagine. So it seems like the lost items that I've been doing for every time I explore the monastery. I know I've been looking it up a little bit, but it seems like this is the last month that you're able to do lost items for. There is like three others for like DLC, but I don't have the DLC paid for yet. But this is actually the last month you'll ever get to do lost items for. Right. Moon Knight's Tale. A story recorded during the Crescent Moon War. Probably belongs to someone who reads Tales of Chivalry. Mm. Wax Diptyke. A wax diptyke that has been thoroughly used. It probably belongs to someone who is zealous about studying. Professor. I see it about zealous and jealous. Annotated dictionary. A dictionary of a foreign language with translations. Probably belongs to someone from afar. That's totally Petra's. And maintenance oil. A jar contain. Wait a second. Jar containing oil for weapon maintenance probably belongs to someone who collects weapons. Do you know who was in this spot last month? Petra and Ferdinand. It belongs to those two. <laughs> wow. You know what? Maybe that's what this is going for. Like, it's going through locations where they used to be. From a couple months ago. That's actually... That can actually give... You know what? That actually gives you a hint on where they used to be. Grounding charm. A charm said to prevent lightning from striking nearby. It probably belongs to someone who was afraid of lightning. You're so strong now. I'm starting to understand why you were appointed professor. I thought I was stronger, but I still have such a long way to go. Oh, I will. 
I still plan on beating you someday. <laughs> he doesn't need any help. I'm pretty sure he's just fine. Also, yeah, like... I think that actually lets you take a hint of, like... Who that lost... Or what that lost item belongs to. I never actually knew about that. Recently, Professor, I feel as though you've been a bit distant. Have I? Sort of floating above the clouds, separate from other people. And like you've got no interest at all in ever coming back down. How can I help? What? I'm not being distant. Hey, don't worry. I thought maybe I'd ask and see what you'd say. Or I guess I could have asked. What about you, Manuelo? Have I been distant? The holy tomb, huh? No, it's the holy tomb. I've worked here for years, and this is the first I've heard of it. I mean, it does make some sense. Sort of. Something about it is still weird. I understand now why they'd build the monastery in the mountainous center of Fodlin. Although... When the monastery was built, the kingdom and alliance weren't even around yet. But look how cleverly it was placed right in the middle of the empire, kingdom, and alliance. That's weird, right? It's like it's the... It's like the grand heart of Fodlin in this monastery. That's basically what this is. It, it's gonna remind me of that DLC that's coming out for Scarlet and Violet that... I think it's the indigo, uh, the indigo disc. That's what it's gonna be. Are you positive? Really? Your appearance is due to the influence of the Crest of Flames? Intriguing. Unfortunately, I have found no record of Nemesis's hair and eye color ever changing. However, if that transformation was brought on in part by the power of the Crest, that would be most... Well, I suppose interesting is too small a word. Still, it would be <laughs> an absolutely exceptional discovery. To know for certain, we must investigate further. So, close off. I beg your pardon? What? A full physical is in order, yes? We need to know if this transformation affected you adversely. Don't worry, it won't hurt a bit. Oh. Yes, I... I should call Manuela. My apologies. <laughs> oh, brother. Yeah, we're not doing that here. This is a Nintendo game. I mean, they put Bayonetta in the Nintendo Switch, I'm sure. Wait, I don't think I've ever been in this room, have I? Wait, what was this one? Oh, Captain's Quarters. Oh yeah, Aloise is back. Captain. Oh, Professor, how long have you been standing there? I didn't see you. I was oh. just sorting through Captain Gerald's belongings. He's still distraught about Captain Gerald. I keep finding things that bring back memories. Clearing out this room of his belongings again, it's... It's not easy. Oh, I feel so bad. <laughs> Leone, Aloe, like some people that were very close to Geralt. I think Aloise has to be the most. Oh, Professor, I am so happy. Your new hair and eye color suit you well. We make quite the pair. But recently, I sense that things are a bit strange between Lady Rhea and my brother. She wants to do something at the Holy Tomb. I do not know what, but... Hmm... Whenever it has concluded, I hope they will return to their friendship, as it has always been. Yeah, I hope it does. Yeah, speaking of them... Excuse me. You haven't a thing to worry about. You have been gifted the power of the goddess. Furthermore... You have overcome the death of your father, Geralt, and you have destroyed... Yeah, that's right. I guess after that fight, we I lost our sorrow. So very proud of who you have become. 
<laughs> Thank you. Once we finish the ritual at the holy tomb, all will be well. Yeah. After that uh, fight with Solon and Kronya, I feel like I felt much better. <laughs> the silk handkerchief belongs to Lorenz, which is right here. Oh, most kind. Thank you for bringing this to me. <laughs> Thank you. I would definitely feel like I know where the annotated dictionary comes from. And that is Petra. I had lost the place of this. You have my thanks. God, the dogs are so loud in this game. <laughs> they like bark right over their talking. The maintenance oil belongs to him. Because he was actually talking about oil. Yeah, he was talking about oil with Flane. Oh, I was looking for this. Yeah. Thank you so much. So that's that. Oh, that's right. I can give the lost items to the people that were absent last month. So, Shamir, where is she? People is Fodlan. Uh, Shamir has the uh, where is it? It's the animal bone dice. Thanks. How did you know this was mine? Gilbert She's the has the noseless puppet. Ah, thank you for bringing me this. Life without it was difficult. So he's been carving a little wooden puppet. That's adorable. Dorothea actually has the hedgehog cage. I've been looking for this. Thank you so much. So I guess she has a pet hedgehog somewhere. Aloe, I think he had the introduction to magic. Oh, this is mine. I thought it had vanished. Thanks. I owe you. <laughs> what if he actually accidentally like made a vanish spell that lost that book? <laughs> bah! <laughs> bah! I think Annette actually lost something. I think it was this one, the Moon Knight's Tale. Okay, no. Um Grounding Charm? The, the History of Srang. Oh, oh no, it's the wax. I kind of saw for a second that one of those things belongs to Annette. And that was it. I think Catherine was missing the weathered cloak. Oh, this is mine. Thanks. I'm glad to have it back. There we go. Okay, is it... This one was a little bit stupid because it was sitting right next to him. Caspar actually has the grounding charm. Yeah, that's definitely mine. You really saved me with this. Are you kidding me? The, that thing was like sitting right next to him. How could you not see that charm? What's this? Oh my god. Luckily for this one, the new bottle of perfume actually belongs to Lysithia, and you can actually give lost items to this person. Hey, that, that's mine. Thank you for finding it. And I do believe the last one is with Sylvain, and he is missing the history of Srang. Oh, that's mine. Oh, thanks, Professor. You really saved the day. That should be it, actually, unless I'm missing a few others. Actually, no, I did. The, uh, the Moon Knight's tail actually belongs to Ash. I can't even... Hey, I've been looking for that. How'd you know? Yeah, that's pretty much it, actually. All that's left in this is the three lost items for Hilda and this Eastern Porcelain which I have absolutely no idea who it's from. Hey, would you look at that? I <laughs> finally got Professor Level B+. Woo! 
And all it took was so much goddamn fishes. Professor. Hmm. I wonder why. Uh, sorry? Why does Lady Rhea give you special treatment? You're not particularly strong or good looking. You seem exceedingly unremarkable. Not that I doubt you were a skilled mercenary. Shamir came from the same background, but she doesn't get nearly as much of Lady Rhea's attention. Besides, it'd be one thing if you got brought on as a knight, but a professorship, unprecedented. It is? I just don't get it. I'm flummoxed as to why she holds you in such high esteem. And it's not like just anyone can wield the sword of the creator. <laughs> I'm getting the feeling that she's jealous of me. Casually handed over to you. It's unbelievable. Maybe it's because you're related to Geralt. He was a leader of the Knights of Saros, and probably the finest mercenary in all Fodlin. I only had a brief chance to work with him, but I've heard stories. He was quite strong, right? Not as strong as people say. Oh, come on. There can't be a soul in Fodlin who hasn't heard tales of the Bladebreaker. Maybe that's it. Geralt used his influence to help you. But Lady Rhea wouldn't give you favorable treatment because of that. No, definitely not. <laughs> She's trying so hard to figure out what my secret is. Okay, that settles it. I'm going to watch from afar. Figure out what Lady Rhea could possibly see in you. Whatever it is, maybe I can copy it so that you'll take a shine to me as well. And if I discover that your intentions are malicious, I'll cut you down with relish. <laughs> uh, <laughs> with relish and ketchup. <laughs> that is too funny. Professor. Yay, it's Ash. Oh, shopping took longer than I thought. It's a good thing I had your help, Professor. Looks like we've got everything we came for. Time to head back to the monastery. To tell you the truth, I wasn't sure if the money that night gave us would be enough. We managed to scrape by, though. I'm glad those shopkeepers were willing to strike a few bargains. Uh, thanks to your bartering skills. It's one of the few things I'm really good at. I've got a lot of experience living in the city. Money was tight for me, too. At least until Lenato adopted me into his family. Oh, yeah. You were originally Wait, adopted, he's... Weren't you? He's uh, an adopted child. That must have been a pretty different life from regular folks like me. That must be... That must have been pretty different life from regular folks. Uh, not so different. <laughs> you think so? But a mercenary's whole job is fighting, isn't it? Must be a pretty tough way to live. It was pretty tough. I believe you. I can imagine. Oh! Huh! What that? I had no idea they sold this book around here. I haven't seen this one for ages. What's the book? Also, what's that girl next to me? It's a well-known tale of chivalry in Fargus. Uh, Lug is the king of lions. This book is full of... King of the lions? Adventures. I've loved this since I was a kid. It was what got me learning to read. Give me that book! Hey. Hey, creep. Don't touch the merch. Oh, it's Anna, the shopkeeper. Somebody catch that thief. Cut him in half like my prices. <laughs> Please, calm down. It's the shopkeeper. Calm down, kid. If he gets away with that valuable merch, it'll be a huge loss for me. Here, allow me to compensate you. Are you sure about that, Ash? Huh? Are you serious, kid? I mean, no objections over here. But that sounds crazy. Don't you worry. That thief will be paying me back just as soon as I catch him. Head on back to the I mean, he is an archer. You can catch him right here.
Oh, uh, but he did did he catch him though? Oh man. God, there's there's gonna be a cliffhanger now. God damn it. Of course. Well, I have this book of battle tactics that I borrowed from one of the knights. There's one part that I just don't understand. Do you think you could explain it to me? Uh, leave it to me. Great. Thank you so much. It's about this diagram here. I don't get why the knights are grouping up in that forest there. I just can't see the advantage to a formation like that. Yay! I finally get it! Aw, I didn't even get to see the diagram. Yeah, I'm always happy to help. I knew asking you was the right idea. <laughs> she looked at the camera. <laughs> That's why I came to the Officer's Academy. I want to learn magic, battle tactics, martial arts, and, and, well, all kinds of stuff. I'm learning more now than I have in my whole entire life. Speaking of, I'd better go visit the library for some research before magic practice, which is just before sword training. Uh, don't overdo it. <laughs> don't want to end up being like Cyril. I always find it's more tiring to laze around doing nothing. I've never been any good at that. I have to have something to do. Like, on my days off, I need to get up early and take care of the cleaning first, or I just can't relax. You know what I mean? Like on my days off, I need to get up early and take care of cleaning, or I can, or I just can't relax. I actually know that feeling. I wish I would just get out of bed before noon, or eleven at least. I know the feeling. Oh, I'm so glad you agree. You'd be surprised how rare it is to find people like us. Not to mention. Oh wait. Oh no. I was supposed to be on cooking duty today. Oh, I completely forgot. Sorry, Professor, but I have to run. Thanks again for your help. Isn't it, like, laid out? Ah! Put this stupid barrel here! <laughs> oh, put that barrel here! <laughs> Game designers! <laughs> I could totally see that as, like, a game designer joke. <laughs> we'll put this barrel here. <laughs> You're curious to know how Raphael is doing. <laughs> oh, Professor, are you here to train? I came to train. I knew it! Gotta train daily. Legs, back, chest, arms, abs. Gotta work them all, right? I just finished training, and I feel great. Check me out. Are my muscles bulging? Oh my god. <laughs> I guess so. Another day of training, and my muscles are ready to burst. Bulging muscles means strength. I have to be strong if I want to be a proper knight. And I have to eat if I want to keep training. Time to feast. Isn't studying also important for a knight? Ah, way to hit me where it hurts, Professor. I know I'll be in trouble if I don't train my brain, too. Anyone who can't get tactics can't be a proper knight. It's just, I'm no good at remembering that kind of stuff. Oh no, he's just like me for real. I had to train my brain more than my body. I should only have to study half as much, right? You'll never be a proper knight if you don't study. You really think so? I can't let that happen. I guess I have no choice. I'll prove I can do it. Wish me luck. Is this for my training and for my studies? Is this actually his character development? Like, he tries to learn how to be more smarter than he looks? I feel like I want to find out what that is. I think he's an... 
He's in the Golden Deer, right? Uh, supports, Byleth. Uh, yeah, he's on the Golden Deer. So, maybe some... Yeah, maybe when I get to the Golden Deer playthrough, then I'll learn more about him. Wait, there you are. I've been looking for you. Professor, will you join me? There's something I must do. It will take a few days, but I promise we'll be back in time for the ceremony at the Holy Tomb. Uh, where are we going? I feel like I should have done this last. It's meant to be a secret, but... I'm going to Enbar, the Imperial Capital. There is something I must do there. Oh. This decision will drastically change the story. So this is the part. I should have saved before this. But this actually changes the entire story of the Black Eagles from this point forward. If I say I'll go with her, it changes into the Crimson Flower Path. But if I say I must stay, then I think it's I think it sticks to the regular story. <laughs> 